Let us take a look at a control statement known as the if else statement and a couple of examples. One is to find whether a given shape is a rectangle or a square, and the other one is to find the largest of two numbers. So, first let's understand how this if else really works. We have already discussed programming constructs in chapter number 5. So, this is an additional revision simply because it is so important. Suppose I have to find out if a number is even or odd. So, what I can do is I can divide that number by 2. If the remainder happens to be 0, I can say the number is even. If the remainder happens to be odd, I can say the number is odd. Or if the remainder happens to be 1, I can say the number is odd. So let's say 22 divided by 2. So what is the remainder here is 0. 11 divided by 2, the remainder happens to be 1. So this is an example of an odd number. This is an example of an even number. Now I can easily write a program for this using the if and else. Why I can use the if and else? Because a number can either be even or it can be odd. It cannot be the even and odd at the same time. So what I do is I first read a number from the user. So user enters a number. Then I say number mod 2. So let's say the number is 22. 22 mod 2, the remainder happens to be 0. So in this case, it will say 22 or number is a even number and it will come out. Suppose I enter 11. 20, 11 divided by 2, the remainder is 1. This is not equal to 0. 1 is not equal to 0. So the else becomes true and number is odd. So if the condition is true, the else part will never be executed. If the else is only false, sorry, if the if is false, then only the else is going to be executed. So the moral of the story is only one set of statement is going to be executed, not both. You will never have this and this executed at the same time. Either it will be this or it will be this. So if it is true, it is this one. If it is false, it is coming to this one. Now the general syntax for the if else is if condition. Condition in our case is number mod 2 equal to 0. Statement 1 is C out number is even. Statement 2 is number is odd. So either of this statement will be executed. This is an example of a simple statement. By putting a flower bracket, it can also be made into a compound statement. Moral of the story, at the most one of these two is going to be executed. It is never possible for both of them to be executed at the same time. Now let's take a look at one simple program to understand the working of the if and else. So what I'm going to do here is I have declared two variables called as the length and breadth respectively. So let's call this as a length and let's call this as breadth. Okay, I'm not using the same names, but the concept I'm trying to emphasize. So don't comment that you have used length here and length here and breadth here and bread here. So it's all the same, just trying to give you the concept. What am I going to do? I'm going to ask the user to enter the length and breadth. So let's say the user enters the value of length as 20 and breadth as 10. This is clearly a rectangle because the length and breadth are different. So in the next step, what I'm doing is I'm just doing a if statement. If length equal to breadth is 20 equal to 10, it is false. So it will say the input shape is a rectangle. Now let's take another case. Let me enter 10 and 10. If I enter 10 and 10, then what is going to happen? Length 10 is equal to breadth. So the shape is a square and it will print that message and end up. So it will do a hold the screen, do a return indicating successful run and then end the program. So if the length of two sides is the same, that means length equal to breadth, the shape is a square, else the shape happens to be a rectangle. Now let's take a program to find the largest of two numbers using the if and else. So do take a look at this because this is going to give you further reinforce your concepts. So in order to understand whether or to find the largest of two numbers, we'll go with our old fashioned stuff of trying to understand the logic. 
So in order to find out the largest of two numbers, I can simply use the if and else. So what am I doing here? I have two variables. I have, let's me call them A and B. Now, I'm asking the user to enter the value of A and B. Let's say I enter 10 and I enter this as 5. So using the simple if and else, I can tell whether A is big or B is big. So if A is greater than B, in this case it is 10 is greater than 5 then it should print A is the largest and then it should end the program. Suppose I give the values as 5 and 1, still it will print A is largest, B is smallest. Suppose I give 2, okay, and this I give as 50, then what is going to happen? A is 2, B is 50. 2 is greater than 50, false. So it will say B is larger or largest and then it will halt. So I hope you understood the working of the if else statement. So we are all learning programming by doing simple stuff and eventually you'll be very confident to write big problems and solve them.